Welcome back to Beer and Relax, everyone. So previously, I did an unboxing of the Super Mini Paw um, Soga Maker Sword, the box right here, and I still have not eaten any of the candies yet. But anyway, I want to reveal the figures after I have finally assembled them. Now this could be my favorite Super Mini Paw figure yet because, as you can see. Um, as a child, I really like to play with um, humanoid robots, and this one is exceptional because not only that, when you combine them, it's a humanoid uh, shaped robot, and in its individual form, it's actually fly individual robot too. And this one could be even better than the original uh, 1995 vintage Soga Mega Sword. If anyone has that one. Um, because it's the legacy when never came out and I not gonna hold my breath to it So this could be the best version of the Soga Megasaur we have to date Especially consider of the articulation here So as you can see there are five of them all holding its own individual weapon um, Going with the red one which is the ape um, Sogan sword you have the, uh, I guess it's the uh, spinning cap color that he has as a weapon, and I can tell you that this, these are uh, these figures. The downside to these figures is that they're very sticker heavy. Uh, about each one, about uh, maybe 15, 15 to twenty stickers, and some of them you kind of don't need it because they all in individually detail. Unlike the, if you're comparing it with the 1995 Vintage Deluxe Shogun Mega Sword, they are all stickers, but this one actually has all the details underneath, but yeah, some of them, like the ones on the arms and hands here, is actually the same kind of detail as mask underneath. I just uh, decided not to paint it at this time, just so I put the sticker on top, but it looks quite ugly and eventually it's going to peel off, so... If you really want your figure to look nice, be prepared to do a lot of painting. Some of them really puzzles me, like the uh, monkey, the bright monkey one, or the frog, I should say. Um, it gives you the sticker for the eyes, right here, where my thumb is. Let's zoom in, Let's focus, right here. But yet, the detail, actually the, the head of the all five of the, these uh, individual swords are actually pre-painted, surprisingly. They have, the wet one is not done by me, but it actually came like that. As you, If you saw the unboxing, you might remember. But yet they gave you the sticker that that's the same thing. Hmm, like, why would you want to do that? So, uh, really confusing. So, going over the articulation a little bit. You, the arms can swing up to 90 degrees. Can do 360 rotation at the ball joint. The bicep, there's a joint at the bicep that goes up to 90 degrees. You can does it front to back. The head can actually rotate a little bit, but it's very tight. And for transformation purpose, the front skirt can actually swing up. I gotta save it for later. The legs can swing up about a 45 50 degrees and about 30 degrees going all the way back. The unfortunately, the back skirt does not have any articulation, so that hinders. In terms of the joint, it can do a little bit more, but not much more. Now, I have just assembled this a couple of days ago, but yet the joints are set, still very stiff, so that could hinder it. And But over time, you will be losing. And go without that much. And for again, for the transformation... The feet, I should say, 
can do this. So all in all, it's not the most articulate figure you will see, but it has enough articulation for pairability. Going over with the white one, it's a little different than the wet because there's different parts of the body as I will review it later. The arms can swing up and down. Um see the weapons can't get in the way here. Yeah. Arms can still rotate 360. It has it does still have a bicep joint that can do front and back. It can rotate up oh, forgot to reveal to forgot to mention that the waist can go 360. That goes for every single one of them. The head can also still rotate and then the feet can do a little bit better than the wet one can go 90 degrees up and down like so and the back it looks like that very nice now the yellow one has different than the white one because this is actually part of the leg where the white one here is actually the arm and the wet one is the torso so these three will have different articulation than the others from each other I mean such as this one it does not bend so well don't forget this is still a model kit even though it's pretty hard to break them because they have very good ABS plastic and you know brand dye is probably the, the manufacturer of the best plastic in the world right now and this one they give it even more emphasis to make the plastic even more sturdy in quality they, but um, again they still have that I thought it has the waist articulation. Hmm. Guess I was wrong about that. It does not have waist waist articulation. It still has the head articulation. Go 360. The arms can swing up. Can rotate. Swing up that much. 90 degrees. In terms of the leg movement, it can not do much. If I lift up the side skirt, I can go not nearly 90, but about 75. So that's it for the yellow one. Now the blue one and the white one are both arms, so they will be very similar, so I'm not going to be redundant go over them. But the bright one I will mention about the weapon. It does come with three hands. Why? Because of the special reason you want to post him holding the bow and arrow like this. You actually need to use a different hand than the one that matches this one. So you just unplug it and plug it in. I might as well just do it because for the transformation later on, all of them have to disarm their weapons. So. So as you can see, the arm that comes with a special hand here to hold the weapon. Well, the other hand, that's the common one, does not have that latch. So it's a special one. So that have to disarm all of them. We go over the next part of the. Review, which is the combination. Oop, took the hand up. So, be right back. Actually, before I go into combination, I forgot to mention for the yellow bear sword. I like it to have him pose like this, but actually, I'm supposed to take out his arm. Because this weapon actually has a built-in arm 
that looks like this supposed to hold him like a core but even though this is more like a boom <laughs> so the so there's a different way to hold it it's not in the, the instruction manual but if you use imagination sometimes you can use it to discover these things so that's one thing I want to mention it because I'm not gonna mention it again once I combine them the weapons will not be used at all so with the weapons out of the way, let's try to combine them. Now the arms, you gotta have to swing back. Actually, don't have to swing back. I like. So you basically weigh the shoulder part of him up. And that will cover his head. There is no joint here, but I guess it will hold. Hmm, why didn't combine? So, anyway, I guess you just, there's no latching here on this one, so you guess you just uh, push them in. You make the, make sure the arm is straight first, there is um, indents here that you can pull way in. Same thing for this side. And that will hide the face. Now this part here, the leg, is the one that has latch. I pretty much got that mixed up before. So there's, if you can see on the camera, there are two latching points. Actually, make it three, three latching points here that you can put the legs next to each other. You can get a snap out of two, and then you roll it up. this way to reveal the hands so likewise you do the same for this one got a little nice snap out of it I probably have to fix this still gap here <laughs> I detach the arm but it's basically the same so again same thing hear the snap I don't know why that arm keeps swinging. Swing it up. That way. There you go. That's the white arm. Now the legs. Unfortunately, this is the only part that I have to take out the head. They to decapitate him. You bend the arms backward 90 degrees for both arms, then you detach him. Now in the manual, it tells you to leave some space at the, at the uh, joint here. You see that gap here? But um, during the transformation, it will ask you to put it all the way in. And you will know why in a second. It's just so it can be stored inside his body. So you got twist his arm first like this, then like this. Bring it all the way in and get into the slot way here. So it will look exactly like this. 
this was uh, where the head is was then then you push it one in the legs once again they are latches to combine them get a little snap out of it and then you bring it up if I could so you once again open it like this bring it up and cover The joints are very stiff right now still because it's still brand new so it makes it a little bit trickier to get this done but it actually does not have that many steps. Let's try to fix it. So after fixing it, it becomes like this. Just want to mention that the side skirt actually has a hole for the pig in here so that will further secure it. And uh, one thing I discovered, this is, so basically this is what the instruction manual tell you. And you still have a detached head, which you might afraid when you combine them, you might have this somewhere else and ultimately you might lose them. The instruction manual didn't tell you to do this, but I would, uh, we open up his torso, we fill the arms once again. I'm going to put his head right in the bottom and close it. It perfectly works fine, but yet the instruction manual does not suggest that. Don't know why, but now you have the whole thing in one and don't have to worry about it losing the head. And then the white one, oh, I mean the, the bright one, is going to be the other leg. So similarly, you decapitate him. You will bend him, bend his arm back on both sides. Make sure you don't use too much force as to break them or detach them. Then you open them up. By twisting his shoulder back. And you basically repeat the process again. I'm gonna bend, uh, almost forgot, supposed to get his thing in and as I'm shaking the table, I'm shaking the camera that's on the table. Apologize for that. So I'm just gonna transform him off camera. Like so. And once again, go put his decapitated head in there. You can see because everything is black, but it's definitely in here. And I actually detached that too. So there's another improvement in the articulation, which will benefit the combined mode. Is that you can actually posture. So you can partially detach the one of the pegs so you can do a little bit of articulation that one is on the ball joint I did the same but in reverse for the other one and now it's enough with just the torso so my favorite part is to turn his front waistcoat into his new chest piece And once again, bend his elbow 90 degrees backward, similar to the other ones. And then to open him up from the inside. I pull it down. Try not to use too much force because I don't want to break him. 
will reveal his storage compartment. This is where his real Mega Sword head is hiding. And take it out. And we're going to do the same thing. Got to bend the arms in, the, in a way that will go into the torso. Once again, get the arm as all as in as possible. Not easy done because the joints are very very stiff right now. So that's step one. Or step two if you're counting the bending of the arms. Then get him in. So, that's step three. Then finally, get his knuckle in. Nope, oh, got a little bit of sticker peel off. You really have to do some painting in the long one here. Once you get into a position, you can push him back in. And that's for the top. Now his legs, you gotta turn his feet into his new waistcoat. And make sure that this way. So your waist, his leg, his I mean his feet, to become the new skirt once again. But again, this stiff drawing is making it really, really tricky to do. So I'm gonna do it off camera. And right, once you got. One little legs in, that's what it looks like. So you can do this easier. Nope, it's still very stiff. So once you get both legs, it will look like this. So the stiff drawing is making it really hard for me to transform on camera without taking too much of your time and mine. So that's what it looks like. Now the easier part is to combine all the limbs together, starting with the leg. So that's why you need to decapitate the the legs, the the swords that make up the legs, because this uses the joint for the head to attach to the torso or the thigh. Same thing for the yellow one, which make up for the white leg. The arms, pretty much done for you, just got to pick it in. Easy. Now it's starting to really take shape. Finally, the head that I took out from the wet one, you have to flip the face up, wear it like a helmet. Put down the flap. And finally, you have the Sogan Mega Sword, yes. Not bad. Now, to refill his articulation, 
it still can rotate side to side if I do it too much it will come off but I don't think it can really rotate 360 anymore because of the head is bigger now the arms can still swing 360 impressively it has it can twist because that's the there was the waist it still has a spice set movement can go more than 90 degrees it still had its own waist movement can go 360 if I try but there's no need to it has a joint where the head was then go 120 degrees and then if you swing out the front skirt, you can swing up, you can kick that much. So, in, so for a bulky suit, bulky, well, I'm gonna say most, bulky mega sword, he actually very articulated. I would say it has to be a lot more articulated than his predecessor, which was the. 1995 vintage Sogan sword, Sogan Mega Sword. Now, in this form, I'm gonna bring out this accessory, which is the fire sword that he was used in the show. So it fits well. It's the arms, the hands designed to fit the weapon. It's no wonder that it will do so slide into the slot right here and we'll hold it really just fine no shaking at all but don't even have to close the hand but you want to make it look nice you will do so too anyway uh, now why won't you hook it in it's really just tight yep it's just really tight that's all so with this articulation, you can do all sorts of fun poses. Ah, you get the idea. Now, don't forget, I know I probably said I'm never going to use them again, but being the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, they like to combine weapons and this one is a no exception so his so the staff and the boomstick combines like so they give you this piece right here which is only act as one purpose for the combination mode you will put that Right here. Then have the forks on the side. And finally, the arrow. So, so let's put them all on him, just for a short while anyway, because I don't think it looks as good as the sword, which is his own mix, main accessory, so. So first, have him hold this. Close his hand.
than his other weapon. I don't even know what to call it anymore. It's not a shield anymore. So something like that. This looks really wacky. Nah, that's not gonna, that's not gonna work. So I put his main weapon back on him because it's how I put, how I would like to have him sit on my shelf. So comparing with my other super mini pawn is Gao Gai Gao, which you can see he is shorter than Sogan Megasaur. But, if I were to compare him with the Dragon Megasword or Dragon Sword Battle Mode, they are about the same height. Looks very really nice. Now before, this was my favorite, but now that the Sogan Megasword is here, I think I'm definitely putting him on top of my list. What can what more can you want? Is you got you got great accessories, you can pose, you got great articulation, you can do the transformation, you can separate, you can keep everything in him. There's no loose parts. Only thing that I found stupid is again the weapon combination mode, but if you just go back them up and only use it when you need to Transform him back into individual mode. There's no problem So if you have any questions feel free to ask in the bottom I realized that the transformation took longer than I expected because it's the stiff joints make it so hard to Transform on camera. So I was doing I was struggling a little bit on the side To get it to work but all in all, the comb on the sword and on the ninja symbol really makes this a premium model. It retails for $60, which is uh, a little bit halfly for something that's not very big. Um, if I go compare him with the Strike. Master Grey Strike. IWSP. You will see that he's actually not that big compared to a Master Grade. I don't have a High Grade with me, but he probably will be closer to a High Grade than a Master Grade. So, for a figure that's not very big, I mean he is bigger than the than the than the Guy Guy but still for sixty dollars.